first two albums on was with In Vogue. Okay, okay, I'm Troop, with you. Troop, After Seven, MC Hammer, and I think that was it. Then the next tour we went on, it was a short tour, because we wound up kicking his ass off the tour. Whoa, Vanilla Ice. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So, so Vanilla Ice is on tour. Vanilla Ice is one of them guys who was around a lot back yeah. then. Yeah, they, they fell out, but they cool again now. Yeah. Brandon, Brandon Winkle, whatever his damn name is. He went on tour with us. They put him together. Um, and he from oh. Dallas. Yeah, Dick, 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 Dick Clark put us together. Now that the party is jumping, with the bass kicked in and the Vegas are pumping, quick to the point. So he went on the road with us for a little while, maybe about three months. This is what he started doing. He was cool. All, you know what I always do is all American white boy trying to dance like Hammer and all that bullshit. Anyway, he would go out in front of the stage every night and watch our show. And he could do performing. And start, you know what I'm saying, copycat and see what we do. He go on stage before us, he would do some of the same moves, try to do the same moves Hammer was doing. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. Yeah. Let, me, let me ask you this. Um you one of those guys that you was around a lot of people. Did you ever run into, uh, say, Snoop or any of those guys during that time? Because they was a little younger than y'all. Yeah, they, 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 wasn't, they weren't popular like that. They was they, younger than y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't, Death Row wasn't, wasn't hitting like that. Who was the, the main ones that back then that you, you know, when it come down to just the people that was in y'all's, y'all's, you know, uh, 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 you know, y'all peers, the people that was around, who was the groups then? Well, you know, we had several tours. You know, one of the tours we started out, the first two I was on was with In Vogue. Okay, okay, I'm Troop, with you. Troop, After Seven, MC Hammer, and I think that was it. Then the next tour we went on, it was a short tour, because we wound up kicking his ass off the tour. Whoa, Vanilla Ice. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So, so Vanilla Ice, Ice is on tour. Vanilla Ice is was, one of them guys who was around a lot back yeah. then. Yeah, they, they fell out, but he, they cool again now. Yeah. Brandon, Brandon Winkle, whatever his damn name is. He went on tour with us. They put him together. Um, and he from uh, Dallas. Yeah, Dick, 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 Dick Clark put us together. Now that the party is jumping, with the bass kicked in and the Vegas are pumping, quick to the point. So he went on the road with us for a little while, maybe about three months. This is what he started doing. He was cool. All, you know what I always do is all American white boy trying to dance like Hammer and all that bullshit. Anyway, he would go out in front of the stage every night and watch our show. And he could do performing. And start, you know what I'm saying, copycat and see what do. He'd go on stage before us, he would do some of the same moves, try to do the same moves Hammer was doing. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. And emulating stuff that Hammer was doing, we doing it throughout our show. So it got to the point Hammer checked in one night. Hey man, uh, you stop, you know saying, I, I, I come to check out, you doing some of my moves and my show, you stealing my stuff. It ain't cool, you know saying, that's me. You know saying, you gotta be original. He didn't like it. So, Hammer like, okay. So, yeah. so Hammer told him that. Yeah. Well, how do you know he didn't like it? Cause he acted like it. You, he, he had that. Yeah, he had that, that movement, that body and language or whatever. And then, right after that, Hammer said, we're gonna have a problem. We're gonna have a problem. He, gonna he did problem. it again? Yeah, he did it again. The next time he did it. Now that the party is jumping, with the bass kicked in and the Vegas are pumping, quick to the point. We told him we had that fallout. Hammer said, nigga, get off my tour. You ain't got to be out here. Get your ass out of here. Oh, you, 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 you seen him when he checked? Yes, we'll place you tomorrow. Get your old ass about here. What did he you know say? Nothing like, like me. did he? No, what was he going to say? We'd have whooped the shit out of him. He, was, he had his little crew. <laughs> but his crew was he real. Had three, four dudes. He had him, a dancer like him, and the, uh, the um, his media guy and the DJ. That was it. And when y'all kicked him out, he just he he, he didn't say he was just looking, just looking. This, 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 this the fuck no shit about it though. They came right back, Dick Clark now. A month later, this bastard come to every city we came to right behind us. They set up a tour for him that fast and put him in every city we came to right behind us. Vanilla Ice, you know what I'm saying? One damn song. Ice, ice baby. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. Ice, ice. That's all he had. That's all he had. Do the doom doom doom. Look why my DJ revolves it. Yeah. That's the shit you didn't know that that happened. I did not know that. You know, and and so we, I, I, I could tell he he eating right now. He buying and selling homes and doing a lot of stuff. I think he in Florida. Mm -hmm. We came out of that tour. Then we did the next tour was MC Hammer, TLC. 
Ba- yeah, 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 yeah. TLC is. Yeah, TLC uh, yeah, yeah. That's the girls right there. Yeah. T Bob. Yeah. And then we want Left up, Eye. Chili. Then we wind up picking up uh, Boys and Men. That's what I was going to ask you about. Yeah, and then that's when Left Eye and One Year got together. One Year got together with Left Eye. Yeah, that was a good. Man, that shit was so high school. They were wearing I'm His, She Sir, I'm Yours, He's Mine, I'm Her Shirt. Aww. I was like, but I'm gonna tell you something about, I love Left Eye Man. Lisa Lopez, I loved her to death, but she was very, very artistic and, and crazy and creative. Um, she liked to play games. I mean, pranks all the time. Putting fake boo-boo on your seat when you get on the bus, stuff like that, coming to you. CEO, what's up, boy, what's up? Shake your hand, that buzzer thing and that thing. You like, ah! She liked to play them games. She played a lot of games, and she had the biggest eyes, man. She, remember the cat on, uh, the cat, uh, the, the cat to be with um, uh, Eddie Murphy and in the, in the, in the donkey. What the cat name? Damn. He was Spanish. The Spanish cat with the sword. I don't forget, but I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, him. She had eyes like that cat. When the, the cat looked at you, going, mm. she had eyes like that man. It would melt your body. Man. What did you when when you found out she because she was in another country when she passed away? I was saying. What, what what how was it when you heard it? How did you hear about it? I heard it on social media. That she had, uh, or TMZ or whatever it was, that she was deceased. She had a wreck and whatever and killed her. I automatically thought that somebody killed her or whatever. She didn't just die like that. But uh, all that Dr. Savy stuff came together, you know. So it's a lot of different discrepancies. Alleged this, alleged this. You know, you can't really can't speak on a lot of that because you don't really know the know. They was you know, filming a lot over there, too. They yeah. kept that footage. She was healing. Thing. She was healing a lot. Dr. Savy was definitely healing her body and helping her physically with her mind because, you know, she was kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. You know, we saw that on tour, you know, but like t Bob, she stay sick all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, had a lot of time to cancel. She uh, loop, I mean, she got lupus. I mean, oh. sickle cell. Sickle cell, yeah. Sickle cell. And yeah, so a lot of times they wouldn't do the shows because she'd be sick. She couldn't make it, take up a day or two off. She'd come back and do her thing. She a little something. She was a little something. <laughs> Why <laughs> what you, you mean? say that? She was a little something. She? <laughs> Explain. She was a little firecracker. She was some serious. Beautiful, though. And it was crazy. That's her why they called her Chili. Okay. Her <laughs> and Left Eye both, they four foot 11. They were four foot 11. They were little bitty, they look like little girls, little kids. They wear them big old ass clothes. Like, damn, you got the big ass clothes off on you. What the hell? One day, her and Wanye came out the hotel. Lisa had on a damn sundress. We can get into brighter nights, breathe the peace. It's found by leaks and so with a reef. Everybody was like, what? I was like, cause she's like, like dressed like a tomboy. All the time. Yeah, I was like, uh, what's her name? The brat. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Boy, wait a minute. She was fine. She got yams. Damn. <laughs> you didn't even you, know. You, it. you never tell without a big clothes. Without y'all a big as well. clothes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they dated for a little while. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Until I'll, the tour ended, and I don't know what happened after that. Or whatever. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. One on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.